Hey guys, this is Smart Tech Reviews. Welcome in. We're glad you're here. I'm Jake. And I'm Brock. This, man, this ain't your grandma's review show. It sure ain't. We're here to talk about IT tech stuff. We're, we're doing reviews. We're not taking you out to lunch. We're not trying to sell you this laptop. You're Lenovo not. did not pay us to make this. We're going to give you the truth. That's right. The source of truth right here, whether or not you should be buying this stuff that the salesmen are trying to get you to buy. Smart Tech Reviews. We are the truth. If you are in charge of deciding what laptop to purchase for your employees, you don't need a $5,000 gaming machine. You know, Janet in, in accounting does yeah. not need to be playing Call of Duty during her lunch breaks. No, but she yeah. often is. Yes. So when picking a laptop, how do you decide what's too powerful? What's not enough power? What has the features that I need? And so after some research, we landed on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 10. That is a lot of words. That is a lot of words, and we really need to talk about these naming conventions. We do. It's a little much, Lenovo. But you know what? We're going to keep reviewing. We're going to give you a chance going forward. So let's just rattle it off. Okay, S specs, CPU. Specs. Yeah, we're talking about the Core i7 1270p. i7, Intel. Memory. How much memory? Uh, we're dealing with 16 gigs here. Could go up, could go down. You know, that's what we've got. Okay, GPU. We're not talking 3060 here. We are not. Unfortunately, we're talking about the onboard Intel Iris XE. Okay. Underwhelming for video editors and gamers, but that's fine. <laughs> Storage. 512, but of course, you can expand that, so you just got to think about price. Okay. And display. Uh, display, 14-inch. We're dealing with 1920 by 1200, 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Pretty bright, pretty color accurate. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah. That's a pretty good display for this little thing. SSD. If you're getting this... You're probably dealing with an SSD it's these an days. SSD. I probably yeah. It's fast. NVMe Gen 4 SSD PCIe. It's it's got all the all the ease. But hey, let's talk about ports and connectivity. Let's what do, do you like to see on your laptops? Uh, I like to see a nice blend of some USB C Thunderbolt and some USB 3.0. Anything less than that, get throw USB micro out the door. I'm trying to transfer files quickly so I can get out of here. I can go grab a Sprite. Or a buy. Yeah. Is that how you say that? I don't know. It needs to be fast. I need, uh, and I also need a good amount of them. If you have too few, you're going to obviously be buying peripheral uh, extenders, USB extenders. Nobody likes that. It's just, no, I've got a drawer dongles. full of adapters and dongles, and I just want them to go away. To have enough on your laptop is what we look for. Does this laptop have enough? Close. You know, we're dealing with, on this laptop, we're dealing with two Thunderbolt 4 ports. Okay. We're dealing with two That's USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. And we're okay. also dealing with a full-size HDMI port. So a decent okay. selection, but there is an issue. Uh, one, the Thunderbolt 4 ports are on the same side. I think they should really be on, both, on opposite sides of the device. Yeah, I can see where you'd run into some problems there. Right. The other thing is one of those bolts is taken up by the dedicated power adapter. So if you're charging your laptop, you're down to one All Thunderbolt. All of a sudden, you only have one Thunderbolt. And that's just not enough Thunderbolts. It's not enough Thunderbolts. Cue the Zeus. <laughs> Most likely, you're going to have to end up buying probably a dock or a USB extender if you are a person that uses a lot of devices. And we all use a million devices. Right. Yeah, let's talk about build quality because this thing okay. has got it in spades. You're dealing with carbon fiber, magnesium. It's thin, it's light, you know, it's like two pounds, so it's it's hefty, but it's not heavy enough to where you're going to regret carrying it all day. Yeah, like, see, I can lift it with one hand. Yeah, well, if that was five pounds, he wouldn't be able to do that. You look at this, and there is some fingerprints and stuff on here. They don't show a ton, but, you know, if you're working your way through a bag of Lay's potato chips, it's going to get messy. Yeah. It's built well. It's solid. It's durable. It's rugged. It's a really stiff chassis. You're not getting chassis flex and stuff. It's it's a, it's a good form factor. If your chassis ain't stiff, is it really chassis? <laughs> I don't think so. How are you guys doing back there? We've got a live audience here, folks. Can we get a uh, you know applause from the crowd? Woo! At least at least we know two people like this. Okay, so the build quality it's it's built well. It's not going to fall apart on you, uh, but the design. Honestly, it's a little dated. It's kind of 2018 gamer laptop wannabe feel. You know, the, the matte black, the splash of red on there, it just kind of screams, I want to be a gamer. But at the same time, this is <laughs> meant for the corporate environment. I don't know. It's a little dated. I looked, I actually looked it up. You know, this mm -hmm. design has been this way for like 
10 years. Yeah. It's been matte black, splash of red, and that's basically what it looks like. If you're looking for an aesthetic revolution, you're not going to get you're it. You're not finding it here. here. So let's go on to the keyboard, shall we? Keyboard, I liked it. I could work on that thing all day. I could game on it. I could write on it. I could do it all, and I yeah. really enjoyed it. I had no issues. My fingers just felt right at home. You can often find Brock skipping out on work to play Rocket League, and so... Which I did try on this. Yes. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so he, <laughs> he likes the keyboard, but not for Rocket League. Uh, me, I personally like a keyboard that's raised, uh, a little bigger, and very mechanical, very clicky. It doesn't really have any of that. Uh, the keys are very kind of muted. They're very uh, flat. And so I, when I was typing and testing on this thing, I felt like, get, get it out of here. Yeah, his his gamer bias is showing. You know, I think from a corporate uh, environment, you know, you don't want to hear Jim next to you typing away on his book. Uh, I think it, it, the key presses are there. They feel good. Mm -hmm. There's no mushiness. You know, I have no issues with it, and I'm the writer, so why would you trust this guy? He's got a point. Okay, say I'm going to fire up a Zoom call, and I want to look my absolute best for my coworkers and peers. Uh, is this webcam going to do it for me? If that's the case, if you're trying to look good, uh, you're going to want a dedicated webcam. Dedi dedi dedicated? That's the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Dedicated webcam. Uh, I mean, but this is good. You know, if you if all you've got is your laptop, this is a full HD webcam. It looks good. It's got good coloring, you know, lighting. It handles fairly well, so it's not bad. From the testing, it was pretty good. It kind of highlighted my cheekbones, which is something that I really try to make sure looks good in Zoom calls. And so... I was going to say, when we did that Zoom call, you did look prettier. That's really nice. <laughs> Onboard mic. It works really well. It's not replacing your dedicated microphone, but you know it, it gets the job done. And if you don't, if you're if you're on the road and you don't have space to carry your microphone, your webcam, things like that, this is going to work absolutely perfectly. Overall, best use cases for this laptop. I think you're going to want to use this as like a kind of a desktop replacement that can be portable. You know, sure. Uh, you know, it's, it's powerful enough to get the job done. You can get you know your Excel's, your your Word docs. You know, you can do tons of your your browsing, your web apps. It'll handle all of that perfectly. You're not going to be do doing like 4K video editing without it struggling a bit. It yeah. also dies off on the battery some. Yep. So it's going to be the perfect laptop for for a Johnny in accounting who who actually spends some of his work time designing, even though he's not a designer. He wishes he was. He does wish he was. He's better with numbers than he is with colors. Don't tell me. Um, something. When we're talking dollars. They What's hit you. Yeah. They hit you. I mean, you're looking at bottom baseline of this thing. You're looking like $1,200. And that's with like eight gigs of RAM, the smallest uh, SSD possible. Um, you know, where we've got it here with the the twenty the 1270p processor, this is like 1800 ish And then exactly. if you're looking at warranty, you're looking at 22 And then if you got an added docking station on there, you're looking at like 25 So it's not cheap. It's not a cheap laptop. But it is a little bit of a it's, a, it's a little powerhouse for what you get. Yeah. And it's a little easier to swallow if you're saying, hey, this is your one device. You know, you, you don't have a desktop. This is it. You take this to conferences. You take this wherever. Um, but you also use it when you're in the office. What are we going to give this out of 10? It, it's a good device. I, I recommend it. It works well. It functions. I enjoyed working on it, which is, you know, one of the things I most dread when using a laptop is they just annoy the heck out of me. Yeah. But uh, it was good. And I would give it an eight. But again, it's that price. If you can make that price work for you and your company and your organization, perfect. Okay. Well, there you have it. I wasn't too far off on my score. So we're going to stick with an eight out of 10 for this Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 10. You know, I think you're a 9 out of 10. What do I got to do to get that extra one? <laughs> Make sure to come back for our next review, which will be for a Kensington Dock oh, Station. It's gonna be right? Sweet. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm Jake. And I'm Brock. And this is Smart Tech Reviews. Explosions. Oh.